The Kornotsky Nature Reserve, located in the remote Kamchatka Peninsula of Russia's Far East, is one of the largest, most interesting places of its kind on the planet. Enormous and beautiful, there are few like it on Earth. Created in 1934 and spanning 4,240 square miles, the Kornotsky Nature Reserve is absolutely massive. Additionally, the mighty reserve includes the region's biggest lake, Lake Kornotskoy, which alone is 246 square miles. Not only that, but the nature reserve includes the only geyser basin in all of Russia. It's home to a number of mountain ranges too, including several volcanoes, some of which are still very much active. Yet despite being known as the land of fire and ice, the staff at the storied Kronotsky had a rather mundane problem. Turns out, they kept needing to repair the same bench nearly every day, and they'd grown incredibly frustrated. They finally decided to set up a surveillance camera. That way, they could determine who the vandal really was. After all, once they identified the perpetrator, perhaps they could apprehend him or her and move on. What they found, though, was shocking. Who would have ever guessed that the terrible, inconsiderate vandal was a bear? Even crazier, it wasn't just one critter plaguing this otherwise pristine nature reserve. That huge moose just had to get in on the action too. The footage really is quite funny to watch. It's almost as if the bear is angry at the bench for some reason. Most likely, though, he's just trying to mark it with his scent, just like he would a tree. It should also be noted that the Kronotsky Nature Reserve is almost exclusively accessible to scientists. However, roughly 3,000 tourists visit it every year for a fee close to $700. It's a little pricey, but the views are spectacular, and well worth it. What may be even more notable is the fact that there are more than 800 brown bears in the reserve. This makes Kronotsky the home of the largest protected brown bear population in all of Eurasia. No word yet on the protection status of the park's benches.